first stream. Uh, first round of the stream. Hi guys, it's Matthias, and I just want to start off the video here by showing you where I spawn, so you have an idea of where on the map this is happening now. The video, of course, is going to be about the M4A1, and why I sometimes choose this weapon instead of the Grau. Now, normally why I do this is because I expect to be playing more in the so kind of more in the urban areas or where there is more buildings and more mid-range engagements and if i expect to be fighting out in the open more then of course i choose to get out but uh, yeah so uh, i cut out some of the looting there in the beginning i was able to gather up uh, quite a bit of money there dropping my loadout and here we have the M4A1. Now if you want to see the uh, the exact upgrades I have for this weapon, then I have a video about just that on my main channel. It's uh, the video where I compare the Grau uh, to the M4A1 and uh, yeah, if you're interested in these kinds of weapons then that is a, a video that I actually do recommend you to watch. So back to this game. I know that there are people up on this building here to my east because I did break somebody's uh, body armor there and uh, I heard a little bit of noise so uh, we're gonna go there and check it out and eventually once I get close enough I start seeing them on the heartbeat sensor. Now from time to time I'm gonna stop the post commenting and let you hear what's going on because sound is quite important in some scenarios in first person shooter games. See if you can detect where people are by sound. So I missed the first chance there of taking that uh, guy out, he got into the building and I didn't want to just run after him and chase him because it seemed like a, uh, actually it seemed like a very bad engagement, instead I get up on the rooftop on the uh, building next to him and I hear them duking it out over there and uh, if he gets up on the rooftop then I feel like I'm in a good spot to take him out, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so I was sniped from, I believe, quite far away. I didn't hear the shot and I only lost one plate. But I don't want to take too many risks here because if that guy adjusts the same a little bit, then maybe next time it will be a headshot. So yeah, just before I was able to kill that guy, I took another sniper shot from the same guy. So I know he's looking for me and I know he wants to finish me off. Now going into this building, the interesting thing here is that there's quite a lot of loot and I killed a guy on top, so that means that there are most likely going to be players dropping in here to get some of these weapons back. Whoa, that was close! I'm actually thinking about getting back to working on my P90 build again. I started a little bit uh, about a few weeks ago, but I wasn't really happy with the result and I went back to the MP5. Honestly, I think the P90 can be really good with the right attachments. Whoa, they want this shit! Hey, Jock! Craig Moore and Gregor Chills, how are you guys doing? Now so far, for all the engagements that we've seen, the M4 is definitely a good choice, but here comes the first engagement where the Grau would have been a lot better.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Now once you start shooting at those distances, and that's not even all that far, the Grau is just simply superior, at least with the attachments that I've been trying out. So yeah, just like expected I didn't get anything with the airstrike, I very rarely get any kills with the airstrike. It, it, it does happen, but it's very, very unusual. And again with these goddamn snipers. Now, I jumped off of the roof there because once the loadout starts dropping, um, most people are not going to be all that interested in uh, getting back their old weapons that they had in the beginning of the game. Most people are just going to go for the loadout straight away, and uh, yeah, I don't mind getting my second weapon either, so I'm trying to get myself in that, uh, yeah, well, at least in that direction. And here's another one that really wants his loadout. Again, that's the second time that the Grau would have been a better choice, or a second engagement, but this time it worked out pretty well with the M4 as well. As I'm sure you know, there are certain areas of the map where, for the most part, or in most rounds, you can expect a buy station, and I'm very close to one of those areas right now. Next to these two barracks on my right, or on the right side of this wall, there's normally a buy station, and it ha happens so often that I find a buy station there that many times I don't even check, I just go there when I want to buy something. This is one of those moments when I should have opened the map and checked, because this time around, it's not there. Now going for this loadout is a bit of a risk. I really want my MP5, but uh, I'm bleeding out shields and I don't have a self-revive, and I would really like to pop a UAV before getting away from the cover of these walls. Bit of an intense situation. That last guy there, I, I'm not sure if you paid attention to the sound, but what he was using was one of those um, snap grenade or snapshot grenades. They're actually really, really good if used at the right moment. It has to be timed perfectly though, and I have a few examples of it on uh, some of the videos on my main channel. It basically looks like you have wall hack for a couple of seconds. Now here I make one of my common mistakes, I spend a little bit too much time with the loot of these dead players, or this one dead player, but in this scenario I don't really need to take my loadout again, because I picked up an MP5 from the last guy that I killed, and it looks like it's close enough to my own upgraded one that uh, I can stick with this one for now. If, uh, yeah, if like in this scenario when the gas comes in and I don't have time to uh, get my own. Oh, I thought that was a guy. Here's an example of why it's so important, in my opinion at least, to have one weapon, like in my case uh, the uh, submachine gun, that is built for mobility, because it allows you to sprint a lot uh, faster than if I you use really my Grau. Daring. And uh, to some people who play with the Grau and the sniper rifle, I don't really understand this uh, weapon choice, like the combination, but aside from these two weapons being good at uh, only at range and medium range, you don't have that one weapon for close range that is also giving you higher uh, running speed or sprinting speed. Moving. Enemy 
UAV overhead. So now I'm a little bit low on uh, plates, but luckily there is a buy station in front of me, and now I see it. I've paid attention to it as it's on the map. And uh, what we're going to take a look at also in uh, the next couple of uh, minutes here is uh, one of the choices based on the gas. Instead of just trying to sprint out of the gas as fast as I can, I actually choose to stay in the gas for a few extra seconds in order to get myself into a better engagement and to give myself some cover from two guys that at the moment are going to be fighting one another and I want to make sure that they do that rather than fight me. After that we'll have a look at why I lost this round, what, uh, what mistake I made and in this case it's uh, me just simply being a bit greedy, trying to get that one extra kill when I really shouldn't. So I uh, hope you will enjoy the rest of the video and Big thanks for watching. UAV entering the AO. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Ah, I pressed that. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. I pressed that you. UAV double. That was unintended. Now I'm just running in from the gas here. I got stuck there after I. Shit. I thought the gas was my friend. Not my friend. The gas hates me. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. Well. I thought that the rocking chair for some reason was a guy. What the hell? Where do I go? Left or right? 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 I have to go right side. Left side is bad. There are 24 enemies still out there. Kill them all. Get fucking wrecked. Contact. Ah, 
I shouldn't have shot him there. I oh, that's so stupid. Could have just kept running.